I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise I call Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to push yourself to make quick decisions. There's a couple reasons why you want to do that. One is to prepare for playing in a tournament because you play timed games. You have to play four games in 55 minutes. So training yourself to make quick decisions will help alleviate any anxiety. And also, if you ever want to play online, you've got to make quick decisions or the game will toss a tile for you. We don't want that to happen. Charleston Sprints. That's the solution. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app on it. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. And then laps two and four will be set up. The goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. If you're a beginner, maybe give yourself four minutes. And if you're an intermediate, give yourself three but then push yourself to make quicker and quicker decisions until you're under that two minute mark. Then you'll be ready to play in a tournament or play online. Let's roll to see which seat we're in. I rolled a six, so we're gonna be in seat two. We're non-dealer, so I'll get 13 tiles and then create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Flowers, two, four, six, three, four, seven, three, seven, nine. We have multiples in fours, like numbers or evens. Let's pass these three. There's a four and a red dragon. Pair of sevens. We're in fours. Let's give up. Let's see the red. No. Let's give up the six and focus on like numbers with fours. Oh, wow, look at that. Fives. That's a nice surprise. Four, five, four, five. Let's pass these three. Okay, we have tiles there. I would not pass a flower. Four, five, four, five. Let's give up a four so we don't pass like numbers. Two, six, eight. Let's pass these three. Two sevens. Two seven. We're going across. I would pass one blind so as not to pass like numbers. Okay, we've got white and green. I would pass two for optional. We have two discards for a pair hand. Three discards. The hand I'm talking about is consecutive runs, second from the bottom, under pairs. Flower, four, five, gap. Green dragon, four, five, white. Three away from a pair hand. Now, if the five doesn't come in, we could maybe switch to the second hand down under consecutive run and leverage the flowers. So I would do two discards and see what happens. Second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. Kong of flowers, four in pair, then five in a pung then four in a pair, five in a pung. So we'd have to discard these dragons, but 
I probably would try to play that pair hand and then use the consecutive run second from the bottom as plan B. If you would have done something differently, write sprint one and what you would have done with these tiles. Early on, we gave up a four bam. And I did that because we could have played maybe like numbers, but we had no four cracks. That was a gap. I'd rather go for a hand with no gaps. And here, we ended up with a hand with a gap. So I would just play it and see what happens. If we play the consecutive run hand, we could always use jokers for the fives for the consecutive run second from the bottom. I rolled a five, so we're going to be the dealer. I'll get 14 tiles. Okay, we have sixes and nines. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. There's one hand with a dragon, and it is what's called knitted. I don't think it's going to work in this case. Let's pass these three and see what happens. Three, nine. Three, nine. We have a, a like numbers. I would not pass that. So I'm thinking three, six, nine, one suit. So let's break this up. Flower. Let's pass these three. Okay, we can pass these three. We got a nine and tiles to pass. Okay, now we're on cross, or no, last right. I would pass one blind. I would not pass like numbers. And then I would do an optional for three. That's a little risky, but it's not as bad as passing like numbers. So here we have a pair, three, six, nine. This hand is set. Three discards. 
pair, Kong, 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 ready to Kong. This would be the fourth hand down under 369. We can act on every component of the hand. That's what's called being set. Three discards. If you would have done something different, write sprint two and what you would have done with these tiles. No multiples. We do have twos, ones, nines. I think we should maybe try for a year hand. Two, one, nine. I would not pass that though. We have to pick something. Let's give up. Let's give up the green. Okay, we got a south. We have tiles we can pass. We got a one, two, one, three, seven, two, nine, two, nine, north. North with the year or the big year hand. Let's see. We'd have to throw away that. Let's see what happens. We could always play a mixed suit year hand. Twos. We got twos. Two, one. Two, one, nine. Let's see if we can pull it back. We are on last right. Our first, first right. I would pass one blind. We got a west. We already have it. Now we have three tiles we can pass. We got a white and a nine. I would pass one blind, two for optional. Lap. Okay. I would play news with the year. I could have given that up. We only need a pair, but we do have options here because there is a hand that you could play 2019 second hand down. We really don't need this flower, but we could play Pung with the two, Kong with the white, Pung, Pung, and get rid of the north and west. So we're in between the concealed hand and the second hand down with three discards. So I guess in hindsight, I'm glad I kept that two. We could also play one, two, three Kongs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this would be plan B. Plan A, Plan B, discard. Let's see how things went with the timing. It amazes me that you can make quick decisions by playing at the category level. You really don't even have to look at the card until you run out of discards. Just gather tiles for whatever category you're playing until you run out of discards. Then look at the card and whittle down your options or pick a hand. 
makes for quick decision making and is very helpful, especially if you want to play in a tournament or play online. Let's see how things went with the sprints. Sprint one, skin of my teeth, one minute, 57 seconds. Sprint two, one minute, 44. Sprint three, two minutes and three seconds. So I went over on that last sprint by three seconds, but I'm covered because my second sprint was one minute 44 and even the first sprint was three minutes under. So I made it. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you make quicker decisions. And if you wanna play online at Mahjong Time, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you a 30 day VIP code so you can try it out for free. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.